Hey baby dolls, it's me Monique and I am going to be going through this video really, really fast. I just wanted to kind of give you some ideas on how I'm losing weight, how, how I'm watching the calories, things that I'm snacking on, and I really do plan on, you know, whenever I have a little bit of time sharing some items with you just to kind of help you through. Um, I know that it has taken me nearly two years to finally kind of understand my body and what I can do and what I can't do, what makes me gain weight, what helps me to lose weight. So I want to share some things with you that I just got today. And again, this is just going to be really short and sweet. I'm going to try to give you some key points to look for when you are buying things in reference to snacking. So again, um, I had to mention that this is, these are things that work for me and may not work for you. Again, weight loss and your weight loss journey is just that it's a journey every single day is different every week is different every month is different what works for you one month may not work for you the next month so it's ever evolving you have to constantly change the way that you do things to kind of trick your body because I tell you these bodies that we have are milk built to last and so you have to constantly change things up but I did need some snacks some low calorie snack food and um, let's go ahead and get into this so the first thing I want to share with you are some items that I got at um, the good old family tree I mean Dollar Tree alright so again I'm not claiming that this stuff is healthy these are just items that I have tried that I have eaten and I have lost weight with again with dieting everything you can basically eat really what you want in moderation also you whatever weight you are there is a certain amount of calories points carbs all that kind of stuff whatever kind of diet plan that you're on you have a set limit that you have to stay within set guidelines so for me I try to stay under 1500 calories per day and then I have one cheat day a week which is normally a Saturday but normally every single day of the week I have around 1500 calories or less um, and I of course you know I do Zumba every other day or so three times a week and then I include a lot of um, uh, weightlifting and toning in with that as well um, but the first thing I want to show you is Progresso Vegetable Classics Minestrone, Minestrone Soup and basically this is two servings here and two servings is 200 calories so half of the can would be 100 calories but I would typically have the whole can and that would be 200 calories and this would be lunch what I might pair it up with, with just something totally untraditional, every day is so different, but I might pair it up with these chili cheese crunchy uh, crinkle fries by Nathan's. And one serving of those is 140 calories and you get 18 pieces. So you may want to divide that in two and then that would be, that will give you nine pieces and then that would be 70 calories so you could kind of use this in lieu of a cracker and just do nine pieces 70 calories so for nine pieces of these and this whole can of soup that is one meal not really the most healthiest meal but if you're on a budget a lot of times you can't afford you know to have a lot a lot of um, vegetables and things like that and so maybe one day you may do your salad and chicken and the next day to kind of spread out your um, income you may want to do it this way okay so that would equal 270 calories this will fill you up get you a plum an apple and of course lots of water and you'll be good until um, next meal time so I got two of these two minstrel soups and two of the Nathan's chili fries. Now, it is very important when you do buy things like this to always look on the back. Now, here there's a total fat of seven grams. Carbs is 16 grams. Fiber is one gram. And protein is two grams. So for me, this, this works, okay? So I got that. 
Um, what is not really health related or diet related, let me go ahead and just kind of show you um, these nail polishes that they have, Sally Hansen Lacquer Shines. So they have uh, various colors. I like the blue. And then I got black. I really like the bottles. And then this really beautiful deep purple, which you're not going to be able to tell. But yeah, Sally Hansen Dollar Tree. Very good deal. Um, also, what I want to show you is they have the duct tapes. Sheet of print duct tape now. One dollar. All right. Also, what you need to do is get you some storage bags. These were just a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And what you can do, so you're not so tempted to eat this whole bag in one sitting, what you can do, it says here the serving size for this whole bag is four servings. So what you should do is go ahead and divide your snacks in little baggies. And I just keep them in the refrigerator or on the side, you know, uh, just so you definitely know what you have and you know once the little baggie once you've eaten everything out of the baggie you're done okay so there's that um, I went to Big Lots and they have some very nice healthy snacks as well that. I am a cruncher so if I am not you know eating celery and lettuce and cucumbers and carrots sometimes you just need a little something extra right so these are something that I have found work phenomenal now these are wasa um, sesame crisp breads this is what they look like very 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 low fat so low fat that they have zero grams of fat in them actually I take that back this one has 1.5 grams of fat okay the carbs is nine protein is two and fiber is less than one so for one slice of these of this is 60 calories okay but it's a pretty big cracker you can as you see you can put like deli meat vegetables on it all types of things you know some low fat laughing cow cheese cheese wedges spreads things like that these are good. So this one is sesame. And then I got this one here. This one is a multi-grain. And this one is the one that has zero grams of fat right here. Okay. And as you see, you can put some tomatoes, little bits of mozzarella on there, and a little bit of maybe a little um, spinach, and just have a really nice healthy snack. Another thing I wanted to mention that it's really, really essential to have many meals throughout the day. So for me, I will have sometimes up to five meals per day, meaning I'll have a breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack. So six meals. Yeah, about six meals a day. And those meals don't have to be anything extravagant or, you know, a meal meal. A meal can be one of these crackers and some tomatoes sprinkled with a little mozzarella that could be actually a small snack all right last but not least are these pretzels and they are 100 percent wheat they you get how many of them you get nine pretzel sticks and they're fairly big so you get nine pretzel sticks and typically what I do with these is I will have, you know, either half of the portion or nine of them. And then I'll get me a little wedge of Laughing Cow Cheese and dip these into the Laughing Cow Cheese for another snack. And it just really kind of helps to tide you over until that next semi-big meal. All right. Uh, last but not least, and sorry, I've already opened these up because these are like phenomenal. Probably already know about these. These are the veggie chips. The veggie chips, actually let me go back to the pretzels. So the pretzels are 100 calories for nine. 
100 calories okay so you could have 100 calories nine of them one cheese wedge which is 25 calories so you got 125 uh, a beautiful glass of water maybe a little spritzer put a little raspberry tea in there and you have a cool cool um, snack and if you want add an apple as well an apple a day keeps the fat away <laughs> all right then last but not least are again these veggie chips chips these are phenomenal this is by Jensen's Orchard again I got these at Big Lots for two dollars and here you get one ounce for 130 calories so I have a little scale and I just put the chips in the scale make sure that it's just one ounce don't cheat because if you cheat you're cheating yourself and I normally have these again um, either by themselves or with a sandwich something like that so anyway you guys I'm not gonna really hold you that I just wanted to get this information out to you just before I put everything away and you know again these little storage bags are phenomenal to kind of portion out your food because again portion control is so essential with losing weight so again I hope these little tips help you I will be making more types of videos like this um, if you have any questions please let me know I'll make a video and answer your questions or just you know respond through commenting so anyway remember that pretty is as pretty does and i will see you in the next video bye bye